Hey guys, it's Coke from Math Challenge. Welcome to the 100 subscriber thank you special. This one is going to be a quick one, but nonetheless, I think it's pretty cool. So please stick around to the very end. Here we go. Now let's start by clarifying which ones are the rows and the columns so we can properly answer the question. So the rows are the ones going horizontally across and the columns are the numbers going down. Now if you look at the pattern of numbers here, it looks like it follows an L shape. So going from one, and then it goes two, three, up to the four, five, six, seven, and then eight, nine. Now we can continue to write this out until we reach the number 100, but we will probably run out of time and paper by then. So let's think of a shortcut. So if we think about the hint and focus our attention on the first row right here, we have the numbers 1, 4, 9, and 16. The 1 can be written as 1 times 1. The 4, 2 times 2. The 9 can be written as 3 times 3. And the 16 can be written as 4 times 4. I think most of you guys are starting to catch the pattern now, by now, that the number 100 can be rewritten as 10 times 10. So if we knew the pattern going across, we can kind of assume that it'll follow suit and the number 100 will go somewhere along the right side of the diagram. So it'll still be on the first row across and then it'll be your 10th column going down. So for the answer, we can write row one and column 10. If we know the pattern for the first problem, we can apply it to the second one. So for part B, we can see the same set of pattern of numbers right here going diagonally, diagonally across 1, 4, 9, and 16. Now for these numbers, you'll notice that the 1 is on the row 1, column 1. 4 is on row 2, column 2. And 9 is on row 3, column 3. Let's see if we kept going down, 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 down across the diagonal, the number 100 will fall under row 10, column 10. This one was a quick problem, but if you can just smash that subscribe button, you can look forward to two new challenge problems a week. And I also wanted to share a quick multiplication hack with you on the next slide. So stick around for the that and the joke of the day coming right up. I'll see you guys next time on Math Challenge. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.